Good morning. We welcome you to St. Anne Catholic Church and especially to any visitor or newcomers to our parish. We welcome you to our community. Today is the 32nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. The announcement for this week. Thank you to all who have returned their parish stewardship commitment card. Everyone else is also asked to prayfully evaluate their giving to the parish and community. After praying, please fill out a commitment card and return it as soon as possible. Your commitment will allow us to establish the budget for next year to support many ministries, formation programs, sacraments, liturgies, projects which are to sustain our parish. Saint Anne Food Bank once again is inviting all parishioners to the Turkey Drive in November for Thanksgiving. This week, we'll take donations to Pie Turkey for the needy of Thanksgiving. Please take home a bulletin for more information. The Mass today is being celebrated by Father Twin. In today's reading, we learn the following lesson. We seek many things in the life, but we should seek first the Lord and his wisdom. By so living, we will keep ritual for the Lord as we await his return in glory. Please join me in praying the Saint Michael prayer. This prayer is being said to the right to life as taught by our Catholic faith. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. The Now please write, take a moment to greet your fellow parishioners. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. peace be with you. And with your I welcome you here on the 32nd Sunday of Ordinary Time throughout the scripture reading today with God call upon earth to you the wisdom that God gave to us. For normal people looking for wisdom the way of the materialism, but God's wisdom gave earth peace, comfort, and those who are seeking for wisdom, God always there for them. Trust in God's love and mercy, as we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have really sinned in my thought and in my word, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fall, through my fall, 
through my most readily fall. Therefore, I ask this mere version, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Um, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You will look sick at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously give from us all adversity so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Resplendent and unfading is wisdom, and she is readily perceived by those who love her and found by those who seek her. She hastens to take herself known in anticipation of their desire. Whoever watches for her at dawn shall not be disappointed for he shall find her sitting by his gate. For taking thought of wisdom is the perfection of prudence, and whoever for her sake gives virtue shall quickly be free from care. Because she makes her own rounds, seeking those worthy of her, and graciously appears to them in the ways and meets them with all solicitude. The word of the Lord. Response all your psalm. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. O God, you are my God whom I seek. For you my flesh binds and my soul thirsts like the earth, parts lifeless, lifeless and without water. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus I have gazed toward you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name. As with the riches of the banquet shall my soul be satisfied, and with exultant lips my mouth shall praise you. My soul is 
I will remember you upon my count, and through the night watches I will meditate on you. You are my help, and in the shadow of your wings I shout for joy. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, about those who have fallen asleep, so that you may not grieve like the rest who wear no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose, so too will God, through Jesus, bring with him those who have fallen asleep. Indeed, we tell you this on the word of the Lord that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will surely not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself, with the word of the man, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, will come down from heaven and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Thus, we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, console one another with these words. The word of the Lord. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lambs and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish, and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lambs, brought no oil with them. But the wise brought flesh of oil with their lambs. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, there was a cry, Behold, the bridegroom come out to meet him. Then all the, those virgins got up and trimmed their lambs. The foolish one said to the wise, Give us some of your oil for our lambs are going out. But the wise one replied, No, for there may not be enough for us and you. Go stay to the merchants and buy some for yourself. While they went off to buy it, the bridegroom came and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterward, the author virgin came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, 
I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Um, I welcome you here on the 32nd Sunday of Ordinary Time during the month of November. And yes, you look up to the sanctuary here, you see the picture on this billboard, and we lit up this Easter candle burning throughout the month at each time when we gather for daily mass and weekend mass in remembering those people, our parishioners who passed away last year, and also throughout the church that invite us as Catholic during the month of November, when we receive the Sacrament of Reconciliation at 10 Mass, pray with the intention of the Pope and have the chance to visit the cemetery, we receive the indulgence. Not only for the first day to the eighth day at normal tradition we have, but this year during the coronavirus that the Holy See gave us every day during November. So I know today such like very cold and difficult to come to the church, but also you can receive the indulgence, and stay home, say the creed, the law prayer, and with the intention of Holy Father and you, the managers, nation, pray for the deceased. You also receive the indulgence, with intention to pray for someone. So I encourage you the spiritual gift. It's so important. Please just have those gifts. Give those your loved one special during this month of November. I also thank you for coming to the church here and support not only the community and keep the community healthy with many different ministries even during this challenging time. We have the CCD, the RCIA, and Bible study class, and Vincent the Paul ministry, and many different things we able to do. Because you are good stewardship, and that's why last week you look up to the video and on the cream about what we have done for last year. All different pictures. The speaker asks you to fill up your commitment card. And yes, this year and this time, we're not able to leave the commitment card in the pews. And so, as I mentioned to you, that we send the letter home to you. So please, when we receive those annual report and the letter on the stewardship with the commitment card, please fill the commitment card sent in to the office or drop in the collection that when you come to Mass. So we will have those information. The financial council will sit with me and plan on the budget, what we can do how we can be good stewards with the financial and that you support. Please fill up your commitment, send in. And also, please help the parish with financially. You see, it's cold weather. We have to turn the heat on. We have to do all the stuff. So that's wisdom is, yes, we need your support. And if you want the vitality perish and the perish alive, your commitment is important for the perish. Second thing that you hear from this week, that all the scripture reading that you heard in the first reading, the wisdom that God gave to us and we human beings, we always searching and looking for wisdom. If we search and look for wisdom, God is the sources of all wisdom. And yes, through Jesus Christ that 
also in the second reading we hear that the source of wisdom even this time so confusing and yet at the election and the country so devices who the person we're looking for jesus christ he is the true the way and the life and we look up to him that where the wisdom and yes we hear in the gospel today that the parable that in the gospel matthew share with us 10 versions they all get exciting and ready when to meet the bridegroom for the wedding prepare for them they all on the way they all have their lamp, lamp lit up and be ready to get into the banquet five foolish five wiser and where the wisdom of those five version they brought up the lamb but also the flask the bottle of oil with them they ready but they also prepare and yes we are for the end of the liturgical calendar few weeks that you will celebrate christ the king conquer all the universe he is the way the two the sources of all wisdom and yet if we look for him just like did five wise version yes we do not know when the lord come we do not know when the step coming and yet you hear the archbishop send out the letter and you also understand catholic that through all the nation many parishes are shrinkled and many parishes are in the situation of so difficult and yes the purpose of the long range plan and preparing is to ensure all the parish and focus on the mission of the church is involved an extensive process to examine the needs of catholic and how to provide for them not only here in western washington but across the united states and the world and that's why the archdiocese have the long range plan and that's why the deanery have the long range plan and this work have been underway for year here led by the priest and east of the deanery here in Peary deanery you hear about what i share with you about long range plan but now we are entering a new phase of strategy planning across the archdiocese and especially here in our own period deanery and our parish here at St. Anna. With the recent announcement that Holy Rosary Parish is no longer viable, our period deanery face inevitable change. While the change may be uncomfortable, it can also be excited and give us the opportunity to breathe a new life into our local Catholic community. So Archbishop Paul Inchen will be reaching out to our parish in the next few weeks to tell us more about the strategic planning, the long range planning in our deanery and what he would like our parish to do. I very much look forward to uh, his message. In the meantime, I would like to ask that you pray for our pastoral leaders and for our Catholic community that we may continue Christ's mission of stressing the gospel and helping author grow closer to him. And in preparing for the task force, I asked Kathy Bunger and Ming Tran, Ming Tran, that who in that task force, 
next few days, I need to looking and call some more people on the task force because each of the parish, like St. Rita, Holy Rosary, Visitation, St. Anne, and uh, St. John of the Wood, need to create the task force and in the planning. And so I inform you with this information. Some of you that I will call and ask you to sit on this task force so you know what's going on. And next few weeks, Archbishop will send us the uh, letter. And so being wisdom we learned today that not have the effect of what's going on, but we have the lamb, we have the wisdom, we have the resort. We just need to be ready and waiting when the Lord come. And so I ask you to pray for our parish. The small parish is kind of difficult and challenging, but if we plan and we pray, and then the Holy Spirit can guide us. And so together, I ask you, please stand up so we profess our faith as we say, I believe in one God, the, the, the mighty of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and visible. I believe in the one Lord Jesus Christ, his only begotten Son of God, born of God, God from ages, God from God, life from life, to God from to God, begotten not made, concerned so with the Father, to him all things will make, first and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. He ascended into heaven, and sit at the right hand of the Father. The Roman Catholic law says, and we can do that. The kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit. We gather at Faith Community to offer our prayer to the Lord as we sing. Let all ministers in the church be leaders who serve and servants who lead. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. Let our country continue to honor all who have given the ultimate sacrifice in the guests of freedom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. For all parish members eager to return their blood and share their gifts with their parish, grant that their faith is dependent and their lives become further enriched by their generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. That all burden with memories of war and strife find comfort in Christ's message of love and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. That all members of this community and their loved ones who have died receive the abundant fruits of God's presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. For all those who have died, that they may enjoy the fullness of God's heavenly glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, and hear our prayer. We offer now our personal intentions. For this and all the prayers end in our book of prayer, and those that are held in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. We ask you to place upon the prayer we present to you. We ask you to place upon our parish and community participate in the long rain plan. And we ask the Holy Spirit to guide us through the Archbishop and the leadership so we able to have time, prepare, and planning for our community. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> Pray now that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gift offered here that celebrating in mysteries the persons of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give your thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you make all things, whom you send us our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and bones of the virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bones of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice, we acclaim, uh, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord. You are in this Holy, O Lord, the fonts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray by sending down your spirits upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and flesh of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this off of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poor for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spreads through all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That's with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you through all the age, we may merit to be co-heir to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is your forever and ever. At the civil command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who are in heaven. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, races, labor, and peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostle, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously rent her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you. Let us offer is offer the sign of peace and love. Um, Lamb um, of God, um, behold the Lamb of God. Uh, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacraments.
Let us pray. Nourished by this secret gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the pouring forth of your spirit, the race of integrity may endure in those your heavenly powers have entered through Christ our Lord. I thank you for bringing the food and put in those boxes during Thanksgiving. So on Thanksgiving, we will make the special baskets of Thanksgiving and give out. I thank St. Vincent de Paul who helping us. So today we have the very special collection and the basket down there. If you want to give and support the baskets that give out in Thanksgiving for the poor and the needy, Please drop and support those financial in that basket. And uh, I really appreciate you. Our parish is more. We have been reaching out in doing so many things. We have people calling the parishioner from homebound. I thank you for let us know what we should do, how we pray for you and reaching out to you and send the bulletin to your home and this and that. During the coronavirus, it's quite the difficult. Everyone can tip in little bits, make the community so alive. I thank those committee who always call you and thank you for accepting their call of the parents reaching out to you. And then I also thank you for helping so many different ways. We have the CCD class every Wednesday. We have the RCIA on Monday night. And we have the Bible study also on Sunday and then also on Thursday. And so many things uh, that we have. I know it's quite a bit difficult. And whenever we have mass, we have someone who have to clean up the pew when you in and out. We have to return the report uh, to the archdiocese, whatever incident of the coronavirus. But we do not have any case. Anything is surprising me every day, miracle. Many parents have those incidents, but not here at St. Anne. So I find you for before you go to the church, make sure you are healthy. When you are in wearing face mask, when you receive communion, sanitize your hand because some of the people told me that, Father, people don't sanitize their hand, this and that. I say, I'm sorry, I focus when I celebrate. I'm so focused and you see that I don't see much. And so you tell me what I need to do. And you know that every one of us doing our job seriously, we feel the community and loving community that we are in and caring for one another. So the Lord be with you. Um, may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Um, go in peace and serve the Lord. Um,